John Copnall. John Bainbridge Copnall, 1928-2007, was an English artist best known for his abstract expressionist painting of richly colored stylized realism, often on a grand scale. He was also a teacher of painting for 20 years at the Central School of Art and Design in London. Early Life John Copnall was born in Slinfold, a village near Horsham in West Sussex. His father was the eminent sculptor Edward Bainbridge Copnall, 1903-1970 whilst his mother Muriel was an enthusiastic amateur artist, and his uncle and aunt, Frank and Teresa Copnall, were both professional artists of some standing. Another uncle, Hubert Copnall, 1918-1997, was also an artist and sculptor, although he spent over 30 years as a farmer. His paternal grandfather, E.W. Copnall, was an early photographer and artist. Copnall showed early promise in drawing and at the age of 18, he began studying at the Architectural Association in London. This proved a poor choice of a career as Copnall lacked the required mathematical ability and used the excuse of his national service to leave the profession permanently in order to become a professional artist. Career in Spain Initially, Copnall started his painting studies under the tutelage of his father at the Sir John Cass School of Art in the City of London, and from 1949 under the artist Sir Henry Rushbury at the Royal Academy School. His early work was largely figurative, and he won Turner Gold Medal for landscape painting in his final year in 1954. In 1954, Copnall and his friend Bert Flugelman visited Spain for what was intended to be a short visit, but he fell in love with the Iberian landscape and stayed for 14 years. Whilst on Ibiza, he married his first wife, Madeleine Chardon, with whom he had a daughter, and when the marriage ended, he moved to the mainland to live in a hashendit in the mountains above Malaga, where he earned a living as a painter, sometimes using the the intense light of Spain and the visceral nature of its people changed his art fundamentally as he experimented with intense earthy colors whilst increasingly moving towards abstraction. Throughout his career, Copnall was interested in using intense color and the Spanish light undoubtedly enhanced his artistic senses. As the 1960s progressed, Copnall became fashionable and he began to sell his paintings to private collectors, including Melvin Douglas. He had several solo exhibitions in Spain and Catalonia, as well as shows in Germany where he was also popular, and a lesser one in England in Newcastle. He said of his life in the 1960s, no Beatles, but plenty of bullfighting, flamenco and rioja. Return to England In 1968, Copnall returned to England, and the following year held a solo exhibition at the Bear Lane Gallery in Oxford. His work was clearly influenced by that of American abstract expressionists such as Barnett Newman, Maurice Louis, and Mark Rothko with Copnall using acrylic paint on cotton duck on increasingly larger canvases. His use of color was exuberant. Copnall stated that painting is color and color is painting. In 1970, he won the Ian Abbey Scholarship, and further recognition followed with Art Council Awards in 1973, and a British Council Award in 1979. As the 60s progressed, abstract art began to lose influence as new pop style were in vogue, and to some extent Copnall found himself less fashionable during the late. A series of solo exhibitions were held throughout the 1970s, but Copnall was becoming a peripheral figure in the context of mainstream English art. Nevertheless, his influence on the next generation of British artists is evident following a 20-year period from 1973 to 1993, when Copnall worked as a teacher at the Canterbury School of Art and the Central. He had married for the second time in 1976 to Caroline Brown, with whom he had a son and a daughter, and he required the financial stability that teaching provided. The marriage was dissolved in 1997. Later years in London, by 1982, Copnall was working in an artist's colony in the East End of London, having bought the defunct Spratt's Dog Food Warehouse in Bow whilst continuing his teaching role. In 1996, his solo show Reflections, 
orbits and radiances in the Delawar Pavilion in Bexhill on C. Sussex drew mainly on work done in the period 1992-96. In the catalogue, Christopher Lloyd, surveyor of the Queen's pictures, considered that it was difficult to think of a more appropriate setting for John Copnall's paintings than this light-filled example of pioneering mid 1930s architecture. Copnall was elected to the London Group in 1988. During the final years of his life, Copnall painted infrequently and ceased altogether following a stroke. He died on 9 June 2007 following a short illness.